Hello, we're going to take a look at this production function with three inputs and find the cost minimizing input mix. So once again we have this firm's production function, function of labor, capital, and material. And the input prices are as follows. The price of labor, L, is $1. The price of capital, K, is $2. And the price of materials, M, equals $4. What is the cost minimizing input mix to produce 175 units of output? First thing we'll do is get the marginal product to labor, taking the partial derivative of this production function with respect to labor, bring down the one half in front, and then subtract one from this exponent. Gives us the following result, and we can move this L to the minus one half power down into the denominator, and we get something like this. The marginal product to capital, going to be a similar partial derivative here. Uh, bring the one half down in front, subtract one from the exponent on the k term, and using the rules of exponents, moving this k to the minus one half down to the denominator, we have the marginal product to capital, and likewise the marginal product of materials will have a similar looking uh, function as the prior two. Just rewriting those last three marginal products. Now we're going to take the marginal product of labor divided by the marginal product of capital, which is just a marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital. And we're going to set that equal to the ratio of the input prices, the price of labor to the price of capital. So plugging in for marginal product of labor, this result on top here. And then in the denominator, we plug in the marginal product of capital. And the price of labor we set is 1, and the price of capital is 2. And now we're just going to simplify this so the 2's cancel. And then we multiply the denominator by k to the 1 half and the numerator by k to the 1 half. And we're left with this result. And if we cross multiply here, this L to the 1 half term, we have k to the 1 half equals L to the 1 half power divided by 2. I could solve for k, but just I'll just leave it in this uh, uh, format right now. And then we're going to calculate the marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for materials. So plugging in on the left-hand side the marginal product of labor and dividing it by the marginal product of materials. And setting that equal to the price of labor, which is 1, divided by the price of materials, which is 4. And I'm going to solve this here. The 2's cancel as before, multiplying the denominator through by m to the 1 half power and the numerator through by m to the 1 half power. You'll be left with this result. And then cross multiplying this L to the 1 half power. We have this result. Again, I could solve for just m, but I'm just going to leave it in this format for now. Rewriting our production function and rewriting some of our key results from the last slide. And now making some substitutions where we have k to the 1 half power. We're going to replace that with l to the 1 half power divided by 2. And where we have m to the 1 half power in the production function, that now will become l to the 1 half power divided by 4. So after making those substitutions, we'll now get a common like denominator on the right-hand side of the equation. And so adding everything up here, we're going to have 7l to the 1 half power divided by 4. And now we're going to set our Q equal to 175, we're trying to find the appropriate input mix, the cost minimizing input mix that produces 175 units. And now we're going to solve for L. So 4 times 175 gives us 700. 700 divided by 7 gives us 100. And now squaring both sides, we'd want to use 10,000 units of labor. And if we're using 10,000 units of labor, how many units of capital do we want to use? Well, we have that k to the 1 half expression. So where we have l to the 1 half, that's now going to plug the 10,000 in for l. And we have k to the 1 half power equals 50. Squaring both sides, this firm would want to use 2,500 units of capital. And to get the appropriate amount of materials, we saw an equation that said m to the 1 half power equals l to the 1 half power divided by 4. Again, substituting in for l. Simplifying, we have m to the 1 half power equals 25. Squaring both sides, so squaring 25 would use 625 units of material. 
And if we were to plug everything back into our production function, we would see that, yes, we would produce 175 units with that input mix. Okay, I will stop here.